Rob Cooper, First News, Prince Rupert. Brand Assad, First News, at the Deep Creek Hatchery. For CFTK TV News and Terrace, I'm Tyler Noble. For Health Watch, I'm Kathy Brooks. For CFTK TV News, I'm Sarah Consmo in Prince Rupert. For CFTK TV News, I'm RG Cole in Terrace. For CFTK TV News in Smithers, I'm Sarah Comedina. I'm Mike Kelly reporting. Now let's send it back to the studio. Hi, I'm Hillary Johnson, and welcome to Flashback, where we take a look at local stories from years gone by. Today we go back to December 15th, 1993, when the price of gas was considered to be outrageous. If you think gas prices in Smithers are too high, you're not alone. $44, please. I think it gives Smithers a, a sleazy, you know, the whole tone of the thing. When, when I go to a town or go through a town and I see, you know, something out of line, like uh, when I'm down in the States or around, if I see a station charging high gas prices, I kind of wonder what's going on. And I'm sure I've talked to lots of people. No, nobody in the area can understand why they're being ripped off, but they don't seem to know what they can do about it. Smithers Council can't do much about the prices in town, and Hans Van de Vos says he can't either. He's the operator of a local gas station and says prices are not determined by him. We have basically no control over what goes on with the gas pricing in our location. Uh, we have a, a, a public relations department uh, with the oil company in Vancouver, which uh, all those kind of questions should be referred to. Uh, it's not that I'm trying to uh, uh, skirt the question, but it's uh, uh, on our site, uh, we do not have any control on gas prison. The first thought was uh, to, to put it on, uh, you know, to the regional and to the uh, head offices back east, but apparently they don't set the prices. The, it's done locally, so I think these guys have to be just hammered uh, publicly with uh, some real bad publicity and make them look like they're, they're price gouging and, and, and taking advantage of the situation. I mean, when we're paying more than Hazleton and, and Terrace and places like that, it's ludicrous. I've had many discussions over that with a number of different people and uh, tried to explain that uh, we are just the pawn and uh, um, I have to leave it at that. I have no control over, over oil companies. There remains some confusion about who does determine how much you'll pay at the pump. Operators say that's enforced by the oil companies and an oil company spokesperson says after the wholesale price is paid, markup is left to the operator's discretion. Glynis Waters, First News, Smithers.